Hello, I'm Troy Moreland from NorCal Controls. In this video, I'll be discussing integration of alarms into a SCADA system and their operational importance for a plant. Alarming is one of the primary functions of a SCADA system and is responsible for informing an operator of what is happening at a plant. There are three main categories of alarms. Plant controller alarms, which would include site control mode statuses and interconnect compliance issues. Substation alarms to indicate the health and statuses of the substation protection, switching, and transformer equipment. Field equipment alarms from inverters, trackers, and MET stations. Alarms can be organized in priority levels to manage their attention required by operators. High priority alarms would indicate emergency issues requiring immediate attention from the operators, medium priority for issues that are not emergencies but still require prompt attention, and low priority for maintenance issues, etc. The methods that alarms are displayed to operators can also differ depending on the SCADA platform on the site and design preferences from the operations and maintenance staff. The standard way for alarms to be managed through the HMI, where alarms are usually shown in a small box on every screen and a dedicated screen for further details. Alarms can be configured to send emails or SMS text messages to notify a broader range of personnel to ensure that issues are properly attended to. Depending on the severity of the alarms, different levels of personnel can be notified. Alarms are required to be acknowledged by operational staff on the HMI and will not disappear from a list until the issue causing the alarm has been resolved. A historical list of alarms is also typically available for further analysis. Thank you for tuning in to this video. For further details on this topic, please visit our website at blog.norcalcontrols.net.